Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto. I'm your host, Ben, and we got a lot to cover in this crypto update, so we're going to dive right in. What is going on with UST and Luna? Well, they're pretty much dead at this point. Do Kwon, founder of Terra Luna, posted a plan to try to revive Luna. However, Do Kwon is pretty much looks like he's washed his hands or at least is not able to do a whole lot. He has a lot of death threats, other stuff like that since this whole thing happened. But the plan entailed completely letting UST die, detach it from Luna, and let Luna become some other type of utility coin and blockchain. Because the technology behind the blockchain is fine. This was nothing wrong with the blockchain itself. It was a chink in the armor of the idea of having a pegged stable coin with an arbitrage coin, basically. So if you caught my video in the midst of this chaos happening, uh, this was an attack. It's been pretty much confirmed by a lot of people in the Cosmos ecosystem because there was $3 billion set aside by Terra Luna in case something like this was to happen. So for UST to be depegged the way it was, like the suspected culprit I think it is, the Federal Reserve, but somebody had to drop more than $3 billion at once to depeg UST. It had to have been a coordinated attack. There's no other way this would just accidentally happen. Now, the truth is, nobody really knows who is the attacker. But some of the rumors going around are BlackRock and Citadel. And if you don't know who BlackRock and Citadel are, they are some American investment institutions that usually are behind shenanigans a lot of times. More than likely, BlackRock and Citadel are Muppets for the U.S. government and the Federal Reserve. So that actually adds to my theory in that video. So if you haven't checked it out, link in the description or above me somewhere, you want to go back and see that. Now, I've been voting on a lot of proposals. We've had emergency po proposals on osmosis. So this is one of the most recent ones. We are getting wrapped Bitcoin and wrapped Ethereum along with USDC as a new option in the liquidity pool providing. So that's really nice. But in the last couple of days, pretty much all Osmosis stakers and liquidity pool providers was called to emergency vote on what happens. We've got a 95% yes on removing incentives from all Terra pools. So Terra and UST is gone from osmosis, which is why they did this emergency VA upgrade and it, they've already added some of the coins like wrapped Ethereum as you can see. And we already have a wrapped Ethereum Osmo liquidity pool going here with a 549% APR because they need to get these new liquidity pools filled back up. So that's a new one that I'm definitely interested in. I actually hadn't seen this one yet, but the USDC pools should be going live if they're not already. Yeah, right there, right above the wrapped ether is the USDC Osmo pool with APR of 55.9 and then also a DAI, DAI Osmos pool for 550%. APR. So this is basically a very quick switch to get everything out of Terra Luna and UST and into USDC and DAI stable coins that haven't got destroyed yet and Ethereum and Bitcoin. So the fact we're going to have wrapped Ethereum and wrapped Bitcoin on top of Osmosis as well as the fact that Osmosis took a brunt of the selling pressure, the selling volume from this whole crash and was able to withstand it. That only made me more bullish on the Osmosis exchange. So with Osmosis yanking UST and Luna completely from their decks, I don't think we're going to see anything happen with Luna at all anytime soon, even if they do try to keep it alive and revive it. There's so many Luna that has been minted from all the chaos that it's in the trillions, I think was the number. Plus taking the time to repurpose what the coins utility is and the blockchain is that's going to take some time so i think this was the obvious right move 
for osmosis stakers and liquidity pools and apparently most everybody else did we just got a proposal up here today or yesterday i believe actually to enable super fluid staking on osmo juno pools so that's really big in my opinion if we get that because you can see all those talented developers come from terra luna which was what the highest total value locked blockchain ecosystem in the whole entire cosmos those talented developers can bring a lot of value to these other chains so looking at juno and i voted for this proposal as a yes as well this was a community a community spin proposal for creation of terra developer fund and in this we can see where this proposal is to enable Terra developers to continue building and innovating. Furthermore, this aims to be a lifeline for the existing users to continue to benefit from these developers' platforms. So several Terra projects have reached out and expressed interest in migrating and developing on Juno Network. So this is not speculation that those developers are going into these other chains. That is actually happening in the other chains like Juno are welcoming them with open arms so at this point i think there's no hope for luna definitely no hope for ust ust is gone luna may exist as a blockchain for a while but as i said it's going to take a whole lot of time for something to come out of it and there's just a whole lot more potential in the cosmos ecosystem so on trading view i've added in all the cosmos ecosystem coins that i'm keeping an eye on and i've been keeping an eye on all these lines i've got in here is actually a new function on trading view just go add atom to compare to or if you wanted to compare ether to atom you could just go add ether to compare but i've put all of the coins so far that i'm into and watching on the chart with Adam that's what all these different color lines are and we can see here on the daily chart scaling back from this big pullback I know this looks like chaos but the main point so we can see the chart patterns on all of these at the same time and see which ones seem to be rebounding the quickest well right here is Juno this red line at 780 it had a double bottom there it is following Adam but compared to some of the other coins like Osmo still looking a little bearish dropping, which is great to me because I'm going to be grabbing it up to provide those liquidity pools with Ethereum or Bitcoin or whatever else for those high APRs right now. But I would like to see Osmosis come down just a little bit more down to a dollar. I don't know if it will because I think a lot of the stakers and liquidity pool providers who have voted on these proposals like i have are seeing this coming i think we're going to see some buying pressure come into osmos some of the other coins just kind of going flat like crow hanging around that 20 cent area iris is down here uh, around two cents had a little bounce but just sideways now any of these other chains in the ecosystem could get some developers from terra luna besides juno osmosis and the cosmos hub atom now if you are using the kepler wallet to stake or you're using anything to stake you do want to make sure that any delegators that you have delegated to are still fine after the ust luna crash to make sure that they didn't get wiped out if that was some of their biggest holdings could have took some damage so far i have confirmed that cosmos station does not have any terra luna pools or had any before if they did they yanked them down really really quick so cosmo station still looking really good sg1 has been holding up so far uh, i'm not seeing any problems out of it or steak fish and those are pretty much the main three i use is cosmo station sg1 and steak fish so while this was a terrible thing that happened to the terra luna ecosystem it is not nowhere near the rest of the cosmos ecosystem in fact I think we're going to see with these low prices, these developers coming in, and, and more people learn how Hosmosis took this attack like a champ, we're going to see some money start to flow back into this ecosystem. And it's already happened since the crash as some of them have rebounded. 
Uh, we still got some weakness on Bitcoin. It did get way down there to 25 in the mass of the panic, trying to get back on that trend line. So as long as Bitcoin pops back above this trend line, I think it'll be fine. It's also a whole lot of talk about new decentralized apps or dApps being built on Bitcoin and the possibility with wrapped Bitcoin now, which that wrapped Bitcoin is being provided in the Cosmos ecosystem by Axler, which is a Cosmos ecosystem blockchain that aims to allow developers to build secure cross-chain applications. So this is another Cosmos ecosystem coin to check out that I'll be diving into further. As I've pretty much decided that for this channel, I am mainly going to focus on the Ethereum coins that I watch of course, Bitcoin and Ethereum themselves, the Cosmos Ecosystem Coins, PKT, Immutable X, and Gods Unchained. Now, I will look at new projects if people want me to check them out, but as far as the main content I'm going to be covering, I am filled up. <laughs> I am filled up with all these projects as it is now, and I still have the home, the Framework Fortune Home channel where I do all the stock market analysis. And stuff like that so we'll be diving in a lot more into the cosmos ecosystem and all the different blockchains and projects going on there same thing with ethereum it's held 2000 as support trying to still hold it it could drop down here to this trend line at this point but we are seeing some buy and come back into the crypto markets and of course most of the other coins are going to depend on that as well you can see bnb which is above its support, uh, holding right around 300. If it can hold 300 support, that could easily get back up to those previous highs before the crash. So with Ethereum dropping real hard, IMX and Gods dropped extremely hard, way lower than I expected them to get, but I did not expect a attack on a major DeFi chain like Terra Luna. I don't think anybody did. But IMX and Gods have been rebounding with Ethereum, Right now, though, if you are into Immutable and Gods Unchained or just an Immutable X investor and want to learn more but also get some benefits for it, you can join the Immutable X Discord. I have a link in the description, but they have started doing an academy. So with this academy, you'll get a nice little badge there that shows you're a part of the IMX Academy. That's the academy role and the cool blue badge. You'll also get access to Academy chat channels, but here's where it gets real nice. You get priority for events and giveaways depending on the partner. Limited edition POAP NFTs from hashtag Academy prizes, exclusive events, and much more. So I am doing this. I have already a part of the Academy. As you can see, I've unlocked the Academy chat and the academy events if you're bullish on immutable x because you've done your research like i have and you know it is pretty much the best nft platform that is out there built on ethereum as a layer two with its own flagship nft trading card game gods unchained and tons of other projects including gamestop bringing their nfts to the platform so I want the access to that exclusive event, but putting that out there for you guys who may not be aware of this and join the Discord, the IMX Discord, to stay up to date with this type of things and AMAs and everything else that they have going on. So we don't have any like huge top gainers today so far on the list that I'm seeing. We do have API 3 up back around $2.00 after dipping all the way down to $1.20. And that's the thing. This a lot of this sell off was a panic sell off because people did not know what was happening with UST and Luna. But every other blockchain and cryptocurrency that is not related to UST and Luna really shouldn't have been affected as hard as they were. Like Ethereum does not have anything to do with Luna and UST, nor did Bitcoin or a lot of these other projects. And even in the Cosmos ecosystem, most projects, including Terra Luna, were their own layer one blockchain. So this was a nice opportunity to get some bounce plays off of these really, really oversold prices. Actually, I've had some people say that Helium is better than PKT, and I don't think so. 
And the biggest reason why is because I talked to Justin at Crypto Quarry Mining. If you haven't checked his channel out, go check it out. He has been using helium miners, the physical ones, and he's saying everybody that is in his network or people that he's talking to are disconnecting their miners because it's too expensive to run them with the low price of helium at the moment where pkt has no physical miners it's a cloud mining protocol and pkt is actually a hard fork of bitcoin whereas helium is a token on more of a proof of stake type chain so be on the lookout for more updates with pkt IMX Gods Unchained and the whole entire Cosmos ecosystem. Of course, we'll always be keeping an eye on the technical analysis of all the coins and other markets. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Till next time.